वाहेगुरु साहिब जी जब लो नहीं भाग लार उदय तब लो भ्रम ते फिर ते बहुत आयो कल घोर समुद्र में बूढ़त थे कब हूँ मिट है नहीं रे पछतायो तत् विचार यह मथुरा जग जगतारण कौ अवतार बनायो जपयो जिन अर्जुन देव गुरु फिर संकट जोन गर्भ न आयो ज्ञान अंजन गुर दिया अज्ञान अंधेर बिनास हर कृपा ते संत भेटिया नानक मन प्रगास फिरत फिरत प्रभ आया पढ़िया तौ सरनाए नानक की प्रभ बेनती अपनी भगति लाए मूक उच्चर शास्त्र खट पिंग गिरन चढ़ जाए अंध लख बदरो सुने जौ काल कृपा कराए जी जंत सब सरन तुमारी सर्ब चिंद तुद पासे जो तुद पावे सोई चंगा एक नानक की अरदासे सोख हो टल गुर से भी है अहनस सहज सुभाए दर्शन परसिय गुरु कै जन्म मरन दुख जाए होवे सिपतक समदी नूर अरसोह कुरसोह झाटी है तुद डिठे सच्चे पातशाह मल जन्म जन्म दी कट्टी है तुद डिठे सच्चे पातशाह मल जन्म जन्म दी कट्टी है श्री वाहेगुरु साहिब जी राम कली की वार राय बलवंड तथा सत्य डूम आखी एक ओंकार सतगुर प्रसाद नाव करता का दर करे वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह तन तन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहब जी महाराज जी की पावन पित्र हजूरी में जोड़ असी बैठे हैं गुरु रूप गुरु प्यारी साध संगत जी आप जी बहुत वागी हो जो तन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहब जी महाराज जी तन श्री गुरु अर्जन देव जी महाराज जी सू अमोलक घर या बख्शिश किए हैं तन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहब जी ब्लैस अस्त बी है इन दै खोट इन दीज स्पैशल मोमेंट्स दैट वी हैव इन दिस लाइफ ऑफ आवर्स टू बी ए पार द साध संगत वेवर एस फिजिकली और स्पिरिचुअली to come and sit in the court with our guru and to go for the anandamay katha that katha that discourse that fills somebody with so much bliss with so much anand because we're so blessed to go for the itihas the earth of our guru's bani and gain some sort of understanding from what our guru is saying uh, gurbani is like an ocean and when it comes to understanding the ocean there is no limit there is no end to gurbani and to understand what guru sahib is saying to us and to apply that into our lives how lucky are we to have such a great guru to have sri guru gan sahib ji maharaj ji as our ist as our beloved so sad singh ji for the past two weeks in the katha vichar we've been going for the uthanak of ramakali ki var this bani written by by satta ji by balwand ji so sankhep de sad singh ji in summary just to go for the history before we start with the katha today of the actual gurbani If you remember there were these two brothers called Pai Balwand ji and Pai Satta ji. They owned their car which both the Gari BC there's a lot of poverty in their house. And Pai Balwand ji the older the two brothers he went away to another land to try and earn some money. They used to do kirtan, they used to sing praises, they used to sing and that was a craft, that was a skill and by singing they earned their money. So Pai Balwand ji disappears and goes to earn money somewhere else. and his brother by satyajit was younger went to sri guru arjan dev ji maharaj ji in sri amritsar sahib and when he arrives there he begins to do kirtan and then his brother eventually joins him as well and they both start to do kirtan in the court of sri guru arjan dev ji maharaj at sri har mandir sahib 
as people may say, um, the golden temple, but we call it Harimandir Sahib. So what happens is after some time passes and they're doing that Seva of Kirtan, singing God's praises, singing Gurbani, they start to get a lot of pride because everybody's praising them. Everybody's praising for them for how great their Kirtan is. So what happens is they get so proud of themselves and they think it's because of us that everyone is coming. Everyone is coming to see the Guru. Everyone is coming to this court because of us. So what happens then is that that pride increases and increases until one day it's their sister's wedding. So they come to Sri Guru Arjun Deji Maharaj and they ask for some tan, for some wealth, for that wedding. Now Guru Maharaj says to them, that is written in a grant, uh, old scripture called Guru Balas Padshai Shevi, is written that Guru Sabji offers them 200 rupiah, 200 coins, and they refuse that. Then they all, the Guru Sabji gives them 500 rupiah, then 1100 rupiah, so much money, but they say no. They say, Guru Sabji, tomorrow is Vasaki Wala Din. It's a day of Vasaki, and a lot of Sangat will come during Vasaki. So they said, however much donations come in that day, let us take that. Because they assumed a lot of money would come in, and then they have a lot of money for the wedding. But on that day, when they counted up all the peta, it was only soda peta, it was only 100 coins of donations. And Maharaj gave this to them, uh, to the brothers, and they said, of course, are you having a joke? That you're going to give us 100 coins. You talk about Guru Nandaji's home being filled with treasures, and all you can give us are 100 coins. But Guru Sabji says, to him, just take this money, and you'll get, the wedding will be fine. Just keep that faith. They take that money home, but they start to slander Guru Arjun Dev Ji and they say, we'll never go back to Guru Sahib Ji and do Seva again. We'll never do Kirtan again in the court of Sri Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj If you've been to Harimandir Sahib today, just to sit in Harimandir Sahib, it's impossible, right? You'd have to be very lucky to get a seat inside Harimandir Sahib. Now, they are blessed to do Kirtan in Harimandir Sahib every single day in the morning and the evening. How blessed are they? And we don't know how blessed you can be to do some sort of Seva, until that seva is taken away from us. Sometimes you may feel like this seva has been given to me so easily and we could do this seva anytime. Or maybe I don't need to do this seva, but Maharaj has put me in this position to do this seva. But only when that seva is taken away, then we realize that we should have taken that seriously. Any seva that is involved of doing Guru Sabji seva, how blessed is that person? But it's only when it's taken away do people realize. So, what happens is that they say, we're not going to do this seva anymore. I've had enough. And then when Mar Guru Sabi sends Pai Gurdas Ji, then they say, Baba Buddha Ji, these two great Guru Sikhs to go and convince them, but they don't listen. So what happens then is Guru Sabi goes himself, Nangye Pair, they don't put anything on their beautiful charan, on their beautiful feet. Guru Sabi walks with naked, there's no shoes on Guru Sabi's feet. Nangye Pair Hoke, they go to their house and they ask them themselves, come and do Kirtan. Let's solve this problem, we'll give you the wealth that you need, but they still say no. And they don't only slander Guru Sahib to their face, which Guru Sahib doesn't care about, but when they start to slander Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj to Siddhi Guru Ram Das then Guru, Ram da Guru Arjuna Ji says that you are cursed. How cursed is your life that you slander the Guru, the one that's giving you everything, you slander them, and they say that your body is cursed, your tongue is cursed, everything to do with you is cursed, and Guru Sahib Ji leaves at that time, and they go to uh, Siddhi Dukpanjini Bedi, which is a tree just on the Parkarma of Sri Harmandar Sahib, then Guru Arjun Deji does Kirtan themselves with the Guru Sikhs. So Guru Arjun Deji plays a Saranda, Baba Buddha Ji plays a Tambua, and Pai Guru Dashi plays a Jodi. And the Guru today themselves is doing Kirtan. And Pai Balavanda Ji and Pai Satta Ji have been said that they cannot come back again, even though they didn't want to come back themselves, but also they've been cursed now. We have Gori Darog, this disease of leprosy. And nobody will look at them, nobody will do their Sangat. So Guru Sabdi said if anybody wants to help them, that that person will face so much pain and their face will be blackened, meaning they'd have to put a uh, soot on their face. A uh, garlic, when you make uh, prashadde, when you make uh, chapatis on the iron plate, uh, that, the, that black soot that is left over, the, the garlic, they, put, they have to rub that on their face. They'd have to have their face go bold and sit on top of a donkey and have a, a jama. Pay the drums whilst they go through the whole village. Basically doing, doing their bestie, show, um, they have to do their own dishonor. So what happens now is that Guru Sahib and the Guru Sikhs continue to do Kirtan. The Sikhs are learning how to do Kirtan themselves now. So Guru Sahib just blessed them. They said, just pick up the instruments and play and you'll learn yourself. It will come to itself. So how blessed are those Guru Sikhs? 
by Satyaji, by Balavanda Ji, realize their mistakes and they start begging from other people and nobody wants to see them and they end up in Lahore at the house of a Guru Sikh called Pai Ladda Ji. And Pai Ladda Ji doesn't want to help them initially because they know that they'll be punished if they help them. But because of their sabah, because of their nature, that they are, they are Parupakari Jan. They are a Jan, a servant who does Parupakari, helps other people. They think, how can I help them? And it's written in Pratan Granth. They say, Aapne hit tiyag kare par hit ko, te nada uttam hai jagamahi. Which means that Aapne hit for their own happiness, tiyag kare. They'll give their own happiness for somebody else's happiness. That person who does that, te nara us manukha, us prani, that person, te nara uttam hai jagamahi. They are the greatest in this world. There's no one greater than them. And that is by Ladda Ji, who then blackens his face. He puts, he has no hair on his head now. He's sitting on top of a donkey. He has a drummer playing the drums and he makes his way back to Amritsar Sai through every single gully, every single alleyway. And then he makes his way to Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. He has a humble plea inside his heart. That is from Gurbani. Jeta Samunda Sagar Nir Pariya. So this is in Gurbani. And it says, Jeta Samunda Sagar Nir Pariya. Wherever there's an ocean, wherever there's a, so much water. Oceans, seas, jeta sumund sagar nir pariya te te augan hamare. As as much water as it is in the ocean, that's how much sin is inside me. Daya karho kecha mehra pavho dubde patharatare. Guru Saji, have mercy upon us and don't let us drown. They say to Guru Arjun Deji Maharaji, this is in summary, you can listen to the whole katha, that Guru Arjun Deji, because of your words, your bachan anasar, I have taken upon this base, this form. If you want to give me any other punishment, then give me that punishment because after that, I'm going to do Bainti to you. I'm going to do a humble plea in your charan, in your beautiful feet. And that's when they ask for the forgiveness of these two brothers. And Guru Arjun Deji says very simply that if you want them to be forgiven, then tell them first to go to Dukh Panjini Bedi, do Ishnan, bathe in that water of Amrit Sarasai, that Amrit, bathe there. Then afterwards, come here. And with that same tongue, they slander Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji to Guru Ram Dashi Maharaj Ji. With that same tongue, do their ustati, praise them. And then all their pain and disease will be taken away and they'll be forgiven and they can do Kirtan again in the Guru's home. And that's exactly what they did, Sarasangha Ji. These two brothers, they did an Ishnan in the Amrit Sarovar, in that beautiful Amrit. And they came in front of Siddhi Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. Guru Sarasangha Ji, Sanamo Khoke Sarasangha Ji, Khloke, standing up. Hat jodke. With their hands together, they uchar the Shabad of Ram Kaliki Vard. So now we'll go through that Shabad. What was the earth? What was the meaning and what were they saying at that time? So let's focus our minds back to that time. Let's imagine they're standing there in front of Siddhi Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. And let's imagine and let's learn what they say. And let's feel, let's understand this earth and let's experience Guru Sahib Ji's words. So let's focus our minds. Sari Sangat Akho Satnam Sri Vahe Guru Sahib Ji Ram Kali Ki Vaad So Sasanga Ji Ram Kali Ragni which in this Rag of Ram Kali So in Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji there is approximately a, a very simply 31 Rags complete Rags in Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj and this is Ram Kali Ki Vaad so this Vaad is written in the Rag Ram Kali so what is a var? Very simply, a var is made up of paudiya and saloks. So paudi means stanzas and salok means couplets. So if you look in Gurbani, you have very famous vars like asa, diva, asa ki var, which is most people will be heard of that. It's read in the morning, sung in the morning, uh, a lot of Guru Godwara sahibs. Um, Basant ki var, uh, so maj ki var, gauri ki var. There's Bai Vara in Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji, 22 Vars. Why? And all of them are made up of Sloks and Paudiya, but only Ram Kali Ki Var and Basant Ki Var are only made up of just Paudiya. So in Basant Ki Var, there's 10 Paudiya, there is Bain the Vichya, 8 Paudiya, 8 stanzas. And in this Rag of Ram Kali, there's 10 Vara. There's Ram Kali Ki Var Mahalla Tija, which, which is written by a third Guru, Ram Kali Ki Var Mahalla Panjava, which is written by our fifth Guru, and then we have this Ram Kali Ki Var Hanji. Rai Balavand Tatha Satta Dum Aki. And this third Var in the Rag Ram Kali is written by Pai Satta Ji and Pai Balavand Ji. 
So here, this is a Sir Lake. This is like the title of the Bani. So Rai Balavand. Balavand here is referring to by Balavand Ji. And the Rai was the name that Guru Arjuna Ji blessed to them when we went through the first Katha. Guru Sahib Ji gave them the name Rai Balavand uh, because of how great the Kirtan was. Tathe. Tathe he means Ate, means and. Satte. So Tatha, Maaf Kura Ji. Tatha means Ate and. Then Satte means Satta, Pai Satta Ji, the second brother. Doom Aki. So what does Doom mean? Doom he can mean Marasi Jarababi. Now these two brothers are Rababiya, they would play Rabab Kirtan, or oh, they were from the Marasi Jad. Aki. Kathan Kardene, they are going to speak now, they are going to give their vichar, they are going to do the Ustati of Guru Sahib Ji. Another meaning to Doom is also Doom Pasha, which means the language in which they are speaking. So Doom Pasha, which Kathan Kardehan. In this language of Doom, this boli, this dialect, they are going to do this Katha. This Asanga Ji, if you look at Ramakliki Var, the Pratan name given to this in the olden days, they call it Tikke Divar. Tikke Ki Var. That was the old name given to this. If you listen to Mahapurushti Katha, that was another name for Ramakliki Var. And also, we said that this is part of the Bai Vara, and this may not make sense to some people. What does that mean? So, just very simply, when somebody starts to do Gurbani Santhya, they start to learn how to read Gurbani, they'll have to read Ramakliki Var in their Santhya. So where does Ram Glikivar come in somebody Santhya? It comes in Sundar Gurtka. So first you do a Nitinim Santhya, Satbaniya, the seven prayers that Sikhs read every single day. Um, and then you have Sundar Gurtka, which is a compilation, compilation of different prayers. So Ram Glikivar comes in there, and somebody who does their Santhya properly, <laughs> very loosely, but who does their Santhya properly, they should be doing Pachivari Abhyas, meaning they should practice whatever they've learned 25 times. So in Sundar Gutka, you read Ram Kliki Vard 25 times. Then Ram Kliki Vard comes again in Bhai Vada, these 22 Vards in Guru Gan Sahib Ji, that comes after Sundar Gutka, you have Panj Granthi, but after Panj Granthi, you have uh, Bhai Vada, and it comes again then. So you do another 25 times of Vyas, Pachi Vadi again, that's 50 times now. Then it comes again in Pagat Bani, in Ram, Rag Ram Kali, that's another 25 times. Then it comes in Ad Santhya. When you do Santhya of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji, it comes again. So it means somebody who's done Santhya of all of Guru Granth Sahib Ji would have at least read Ram Kliki Vard 100 times minimum. Then there's Santhya of this Bani four times. If somebody follows it in the traditional way of doing Santhya that was taught uh, by Guru Gobind Singh themselves uh, to do it in this order, they would have read Ram Kliki Vard 100 times. And hopefully by then they would have got it memorized as well. This bond is not very long, it takes about 6-7 minutes to read. So we should make a conscious effort to get this Bani memorized because Guru Arjun Deji tells us whoever reads this Bani, their Sharda and Sikhi will grow, their faith in Guru Sahib will grow, but also any disease they have in the body, Sarir Darog, they all get taken away. Just by reading this Bani, this is the greatness that Guru Sahib has given us for this blessing to this Bani Hanji. Ek o ankar sat gur prasad. So, ek o ankar ek pave adwait suru parameshir of Vaiguru Ji. That one Vaiguru Ji who is without duality. So, dwait here means duality, a dwait. When you put air on the front, it negates the meaning, it means the opposite. So, it means the one who is with no duality, who is only one. Sahib mera ek o hai. Eko hai pai, eko hai. Comes in Gurbani, Sahib. My master, Sahib mera, eko hai. The my master is one. Eko hai pai, eko hai. Raho. The my guru is one. They are not two. There is only one Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. There is only one Guru. There is only one. Everything that we see around us is only one. That's what O Ankara means. Sarada Prakashik. Meaning that whether it's any person, any being, any animal, the whole creation, every thought, every experience, everything is Vai Guruji. But right now we cannot experience that because we live in duality. But they are without duality. And then they say Sat Guru Parasad, that Sat here means the truth. Which means when something is a complete truth, it cannot be destroyed. It resides forever. It has no start, it has no end. So, Ten Kala Devich. In all three times, past, present, and future, they are nasty or dead, they cannot be destroyed. Gur he means Chetan, conscious being. That Vaiguruji is conscious. When people say, if, when I die, a, do I disappear? 
and people get scared because they think, there's a, is there going to be no me anymore? Maharaji here is saying to us that no, you will always be a conscious being just like Vai Guruji. They are a supreme conscious being and we are conscious beings as well. And Prasad, Ananda Sarup. That Vai Guruji is the form of complete bliss. Not like any bliss in this world, complete bliss. True bliss. And what's amazing about Gurbani is that you could take one translation and another translation, like a second translation, and put them together. So how can we become indestructible? How can we become fully conscious? How can we have this Anand? It's through Sat Guru Prasad. Sat Guru means a true Guru. Prasad means their blessings. That through their blessings, we can meet the one who is Sat Chit Anand Sarup, who cannot be destroyed, who is conscious, and who is filled with bliss. But we can also become that form as well of complete consciousness, complete bliss, and never being destroyed. Always residing in our true form. That is the blessing that Guru Sahib gives us. This is the Mangala Charan. So we first had the Sir Lake, the title of this Bani. Ram Kliki Var, Rai Balavand, Tatha Satya Dum Aki. That is a Sir Lake, the title. And then Ik Oankar Satkur Prasad is the Mangala Charan, which means the invocation. Getting the Guru's blessings before we start this Bani Hanji. Now Karta Kadar Kare. So Sasinga Ji Karta. We may have heard this word many times. Hopefully we have. It comes in the Mool Mantar. Karta Purak. So what does Karta mean? Karta means the doer, the creator. So here they are saying that that Vaiguruji, Karta, the one who created everything. And a deeper meaning to Karta is Karta. Kar means Hat. Ta means Tarnavala. That that Vaiguruji with their hand who carries everyone across. Meaning that Vai Guruji has come themselves to save us all. We've always, we hear this Shabbat all the time. Santa ke karaj aap khloi har kam karavan aya ram. That God has come themselves to resolve this, the affairs of the saints. And here the Guru is saying that. That Vai Guruji not only came to this earth, they've come here to save us. So we should have that Sharda, that Guru Sahib is with us. Angasang. They're always with us and they're supporting us. Karta, that creator Vai Guruji who carries everyone across her, Kadar. Gadar here means uh, Kudrat De Malak, the master of this whole creation, Sarabha Shakti one, who has all the Shakti. So they're given the qualities of God here. So let's remember, this is what Pai Balavandar Ji, Pai Satta Ji are saying to Guru Arjun Dev Ji. They're saying, hey Guru Arjun Dev Ji, that Karta, that creator Vai Guru Ji, who is Gadar, who is the master of everyone, who is filled with so much power, now Kare. They created this name, which name? Nanak. Because in this first body, they're going to praise Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. They're saying that that Vai Guru Ji not only created Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they are Guru Nanak Dev Ji. They put everything into Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji and they took upon this physical form as Guru Nanak Dev Ji. So this concept is something we may have never heard before or people dispute and don't agree with. They say that, how can you say Guru is God? But let's look at what Guru this. Bani itself will tell us so many times, but let's look for our Guru Bani. That, that one who's formless, Vai Guruji, took upon a form. Nirgun Apa Sargun Pi Ohi. The one who is formless, Nirgun, without any qualities, cannot be seen, is also Sargun, Sargun Pi Ohi. They're also the, the physical form. Meaning that Vai Guruji took upon this physical form and they came in this form of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji, that name. Karta Purak. Just going back to the meaning of Karta Puruk. Karta, the doer, the creator. What does Puruk mean? Puruk not only means the being, the creator, the Purush, that male being, it also means Purunhe. It means that not the Guru Sahibji, Vai Guru, did not only just make the world, Purunhe means they poured themselves into the creation. They didn't just make it and then just stay away from it. They poured themselves. It literally means to pour themselves into the creation. Meaning they're in everything. Every atom, every molecule is Vai Guruji. So now that they poured themselves, all that Shakti, all that energy is going into Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji's name. And if again we still have any Shankar, any doubt in our mind, what is Guru Bani makes it so clear for us. They say, Jot Rup Hara Apa Guru Nanak Kahayo. When you read the translation to that, it says Jolt Roop. The form of that light, Hara Aap. It's God themselves. And what does God call themselves? Guru Nanak Kahayo. Kahayo means to call. What is their name? Guru Nanak Dev Ji. That is written in this Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji. Guru Sahib Ji is telling us that that is their form. That God is Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. So Karta Kadr. 
that why Guruji created this name Nanak. Now, what does Nanak mean? Nanak the earth ki hai sa Sangaji. If you look in Siddhi Nanak Prakash, when the Siddhi Guru Nandaji came on this earth and they were going to be named, their father Baba Kaluji said to the Pandit, the family priest, I want you to name my son. And they said to Baba Kaluji, Guru Nandaji's father, they said that, look, for me to name your son, it's going to take some time because there's nobody like this child. They said, give me some time. So Kavi Santokhsiji writes, Trodasa Dyose hai Sankhya Kini. Pave Tera Dina Tobad. After 13 days, Trodas hai means Trodin, Das means Das, 10, 3 plus 10 is 13. Ke Tera Dina Tobad Sasanji, after 13 days, Ayo Deja Kalu Sodadini. Ke that Dej, that Pandit, that Brahman came to Baba Kaluji, being Pandit Hardialji, Baba Ji de Pas Ake. And they give this news of what they're going to name the child. And they say, Sisiko Nanak Nama Tarije. What does that mean? They say, Hey Baba Ji, is Balak the Nam Nanak Rakho. Call this child Nanak. Isiki Sarabara Kona Tarijanije. Isiki Sarabara. Iste Barabar Horkoi Nam Nehi hai. There's no name equal to this name. Nanak. Call this child Nanak, they say. And after some convincing, Babaji accepted the name, their father. But what does Nanak mean? The meaning of Nanak, very simply, not to confuse anyone, you have the N in Nanak, then you have A-N and A-K. So if you split that up from Nanak, N-A-N-A-K, into N, A-N and A-K, what does N stand for in Nanak? It stands for Puruk, that being. Then the An stands for Nehi He, and Ak stands for Duk. So Puruk Nehi He Duk, which means the meaning of Nanak is Jis Purkhnu Duk Nehi Hai. That being who has no Duk, that is Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, that is their name, means that they are the complete truth, they are the complete happiness, they are complete bliss. So when we say the name Tan Guru Nanak, when we say Vaheguru, when we read Gurbani, which is Guru Nanak Dev form, then that takes away our Duk as well. But how should we be reading Gurbani? How should we enshrine Gurbani inside our hearts? The Guru says you have to sing it. Gaviye, Suniye, Mandarakhiye Pao. If we don't have this love, then it's going to be very difficult, it's take very lo much longer. They're saying when you sing these words, when you say the Guru's name, Gaviye, when you listen to it, Suniye, Mandarakhiye Pao, feel love in your heart, and what is the fruits of that? Dukha, Parahar. Then all your pain will be taken away. Sukha, Kara, Le Jai. And what will come into your home? Sukh. But what is the meaning of Nanak? The one who has no pain, mean the one who is Sukh. Meaning that Siddhi Guru Nanak did you come and sit inside your home, not just your physical home, the home of your heart. Hirda Rupi Kar. They will come and sit in this heart as well. Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. So now Karta Kadar Kare, that Parameshwar Vai Guru Ji not only gave this name Nanak, they poured themselves into that name. Pave Guru Nanak Deji and Vai Guruji are one, there's no difference, Hanji. The Sasan Guruji now is saying to Guru Arjun Deji Maharaj about Siddhi Guru Nanak Deji, he said, Kyo. So, Kyo here means how. So, sometimes in Punjabi we say Kyo in general means why. But in Guru Bani, Kyo does not always mean why, it means how as well. So, how. Bol means bachan. Pave Jo Siddhi Guru Nanak Deji Maharaji de bachan han. The words of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji, Kyo Bol Ho Vai Jo Khivad Hai. Jo Khivad Hai means Jo Khana Hai, Pave Tolana Hai, to weigh. How can we weigh the words of Guru Nanak Dev Ji? How can we find the value of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's words is what they're saying. Meaning whatever the Guru has said, how can we find the limits to that? Because whose words are these? Jaisi Me Aave, Khasam Ki Bani, Tesra Kari Gyan Ve Lalo, these are the words of God. This good Bani that we're so blessed to listen to and to sing, these are the words of God, Turki Bani. This is the words from the origin from Vaiguruji. So how can we ever find the Kimati? How can we find the price of these words? Another meaning here, if a bowl doesn't have to mean the Guru's button, it can mean our button, our words. How can we with our words find the value of the Guru? How can we ever praise Guru Sabji enough to find their ant, to find their end? We can't because Guru Bani says, Antana Sipti, Kehenana Ant. They say, Antana Sipti, Sipti means praise. How can we find the end of the Guru's praises? 
we can't. So that's another meaning, Sasanga Ji, Jo Tija Art had the third meaning. If we say if you go back to the first meaning of Kyo Bol the Guru's buttons, Kyo Bol Hove Jo Kivade, if we break this word Jo Kivade up into Jo and Kivade. So Jo is on its own and then Kivade on its own. What does that mean? Saharna Hove. Saharna Hove means to endure. Meaning, how can anybody endure the words of Guru Nanak Dev Ji? How can anybody live up to the words of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's bachans? Some examples, when in Siddhi Kartapur Sahib, a lot of Sangat used to come and they'd be Guru Ka Langar every single day. One day, a lot of Sangat was coming and they didn't have enough food for the Sangat. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji said to their sons, Baba Siri Chan Ji and to Baba Lakhmi Das Ji, they say, Purukha, they say to the sons, sorry, they say to the sons first, Okay, go and shake that tree that bears no fruits. Now, if it has no fruits in it, who's going to go and shake the tree? Assuming that by shaking the tree, the, the fruits will fall off it. But it was a, it was a tree that bared no, no fruits. So Guru Sahib was saying, shake this tree and prashad will fall off it. Fruits will fall off it. But the son said, Maharaj there's no fruits in it. Why would you shake it for? Then Maharaj said, Purakada said to Pai Lenaji, who became a second Guru Guru Angadeji, go and shake the tree. And when they shook that tree, Prashad fell off that tree that bared no fruits. And then Pai Lenaji Vartale to all the Sangha that come. So that may be one example. We may think I would have done that. But if Guru Sahib said that to me, I would have went and shook the tree. The tree because in the house we know that. But let's look at some more difficult bachins that the Guru has given. So in Kartapur Sahib, Guru Sahib stayed, when they, before they left their Sarir, they used to have Guru Ka Langar twice a day. But what happened is Guru Sahib said, now they'll be Langar once a day, and everyone has to start farming now. So for five days, all the Sangat would eat once a day and they'll have to farm all day for five days. Hipanj Dinatobad Sangat after five days, Guru Sabji now says, Langar is once every other day. So one day you cannot eat unless you go and get your own food from somewhere else. But you have to do Kheti for Char Pehar. So for 12 hours, they would farm every single day and they only eat once every other day. So when this was happening, a lot of people left Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. Because who's going to enjoy that bachan? Sahar Nahove. Who can live up to the Guru's bachans? How can we live up to the Guru's bachans? So that happened for 10 days. Langar every other day. And then also longer, uh, doing farming for 12 hours every single day. In India, when it's really hot. Then what happened next, Asanga Ji, is that Guru Sahib Ji said, Chal Langar every single day. Cut up all, take all the crops from the harvest and collect it all together, make a big stack of food. Now, everyone starts doing this who is left and they get really excited, right? Because there's all this food. And what do you think Guru Sabi says then? They've collected all this food in their big pile, it's huge. What do you think Guru Sabi says to the Guru Sikhs? They say, Burn it all. All the harvest from that year, all that food, Guru Sabi says, Burn it all to ash. Imagine their faces. Would somebody do that? Burn all that food that they've just collected now and work so hard 12 hours a day doing Kirti, right? And even before that, and Maharaj says, burn it all. Kyo bol hove jo kivide. Would we do that? Even though we're so hungry and so tired, and many people have left, it goes even further. Because what did Guru Sahib do next? They took, a, they took a dog and a female dog. It comes to Guru Bani, ek swan, doe swan ni nal. They took these dogs. And then they had a stick on them, they had a dagger with them. They took upon a Pyanic group, a very scary form, and they started to attack the Sangha. They let the dogs off to the Sangha. They started beating people with their stick. A long story short, they came into the jungles, and the only person that was left standing next to Siddhi Guru Nandaji at the end was Pai Lenaji, who became our second Guru. And what did they say to them? They said, eat this dead body. There was a corpse underneath a white sheet, and they said, eat this body. Now, how can we live up to the Gurus? Who can enjoy the Gurus' words truly? How well are those people? And Pai Lenaji said to Guru Nanak, where should I start from the head or the feet? And Guru Sahib said, start from the feet and make your way up towards the head and eat this body. When they lifted up that chitti each other, that white sheet was prashad. But the point here was, can we enjoy the words of the Guru till the end? Because if Guru Sahib says to us, Joto Prem Khilan Ka Chau Sera Tara Tali if you play this game of love and put your head on your hand and walk in this path, then not only did Pai Lenaji, our second guru, live that, 
But even when Guru Nanak Ji came in their tenth form, as Siddhi Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Ji, and they asked for a head, then Pai Daya Singh Ji followed that same bachan as well, and they were able to enjoy the bachans of the Guru. How rare are those people who can do that? Both the Villay are the very rare who can follow the Guru's bachan to the end, and how blessed are those people to enjoy the words of the Guru. So they start off by saying this about Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji, Tan Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji, that you are created yourselves, you are Vai Guru Ji, and that who can truly live up to your words, Han Ji. So Maharaj Ji Han Kende Han, Siddhi Guru Gan Sai Ji Maharaj Ji Fu, the words of Pai Satta Ji, Pai Balawanda Ji. They say, who is the pen? Who is the sisters of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji? Who is their Parav, their brothers? Is the brothers and sisters of, of qualities, of Shubgun of good qualities, Gun Sata, De Guna Sata, these righteous qualities, these qualities of truth. So the brothers of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji is Sata Santok Daya Tarma Tiraj Vichar Adak, etc. So the companions of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji is truth, it's contentment, it's to live the truth, to speak the truth. The greatest thing we can do with this tongue is speak the Guru's praises. What is the greatest truth to speak than to speak the praise of Guru Sahib Ji? And that will give us some talk. That will give us contentment. Because we realize that the only person we need to impress is our Guru. The only person we need to please is our Guru. The only relationship we should put the most effort into is our Guru's relationship. It doesn't mean you leave the world. You stay a part of the world. But within every relationship, we see our Guru's relationship in that relationship. We, don't, we put our trust into Guru Sahib Ji in those people. So when we say we, everybody makes mistakes, we don't, we trust in Guru Sahib Ji inside them, we trust in Guru Sahib Ji in that situation, that they take care of this relationship, this situation. Sata Santok, they are compassion, tiraj, patience, vichar, to contemplate the truth. Bande Koj Dil Hararosh, every day to contemplate upon the truth. Bande means all people of this world, Koj, to search, Dil in your heart, Roj, every single day. So these are the brothers of Guru Nanak Deji Maharaj Ji. And then who are the sisters? Karna, Modata, Maitri, Opekhya, Adak, etc. So Karna means Dayatarni, to have compassion again. Now these next ones you may have never heard before and they're very beautiful. So Modata here means that if we see somebody progressing, somebody who maybe came into Sikhi after us or maybe in a job, they joined after us, and they progress and they go past us, they surpass us. What is a natural response from a, a natural person in the world? To get jealous and to try and hold them back. To wish that actually I don't want them to do good or why have I not got these accolades? Why am I not being progressing? Why are they progressing for? What does Mordata mean? It means that when you see somebody doing better than you, you pray to God that they do even better. That they, they go even higher. So it's very rare to find somebody who will say, that I want you to be better than me. That I'm going to teach you everything that I know so you become better than me. That's very rare to find. But we'll see that with Siddhi Guru Nanda Ji in this Bani, that Siddhi Guru Nanda Ji made Pai Lenaji their own form and then they gave everything to Pai Lenaji when they were still alive. Who does that today? Who gives everything to their servant but is still alive? When they can have all the fame and all the people following them, who gives it all up to somebody else before they have to leave their body? It's very rare to find that. So Modata, to want the best for other people, I want them to be better than you. And when you see them being, uh, becoming better than you, you pray that they, that they continue. And you only ha there's no jealousy, there's only complete uh, kushin, there's only happiness for that person. That's Modata. Then we have Methodi. What does Methodi mean? What it means here is no en enemies. Nako Beri. Nehi begana. I have no bari means enemies, begana means I have no strangers. I nobody's a stranger to me. I treat everybody the same everybody the same. Sangala Sangala Sang Hamako Banai. Everybody is my Sangat. And finally Opekya. Opekya means to not have any stubbornness. We can become very stubborn, especially in arguments. Right? If somebody doesn't understand, just let it go. I <laughs> that famous song, just let it go. I <laughs> don't hold on to it. Don't have that stubbornness. These are the companions of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji Han Ji. Sangha Ji, where can you find these? In Guru Sahib Ji's Darbar. You know when you meet a new friend and you start to do their Sangha 
and then all his friends become your friends or her friends become your friends. When we start to do Sangat of Guru Nanak Dev Ji in their court, then these brothers and sisters become our companions as well. They become our friends. And we start to gain those qualities as well. Then they say Parangata Dana Pariva there. Parangata Matlab. Parang means Param. Gati means Gati. Paramagati. Pave Keval Mukti. Dana means gift. Data. And Parangata Dana Pariva there means Prapata. Pave Keval Mukti di Data Prapata Ho Jandi hai. What does that mean? Keval Mukti is a form of liberation. Dan means gift and Parapat means to gain. So they gain this Keval Mukti. Now let's just go through this Vichara of Mukti. What does Mukti mean? Now there's four types of Mukti that are very commonly heard in the world. Maybe not through basis of Sikhi, but in general, you may hear this. So the, these four types of Mukti is Salok Mukti, Samib Mukti, Sayuj Mukti, and the fourth one is called Sarup Mukti. So if you use the example of the creator Brahma in the Sanatan Taram, if you look at our Hindu brothers, many may worship Brahma. Now, if somebody was to worship Brahma and they got the first stage of Mukti, Salok Mukti, Salok means Sundar Lok. That means that they go to the land of Brahma called Brahmpuri. So the first type of Mukti is that they'd go to heaven, Brahma's heaven, right? And their God is called Brahmpuri. And then if they continue to worship Brahma, they may get to Samip Mukti. Meaning the second stage of Mukti is that they go inside the court of Brahma in his land. So now they're in his palace, in his heaven. That's Samip Mukti. Samip means near it, to get closer to Brahma. Then the third type of Mukti is called Sayuj Mukti, which means they get so close to Brahma, they're standing right in front of them. Like how we would stand right in front of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, that's called Sayuj Mukti. Then the fourth type of Mukti is called Surup Mukti, which is when that person becomes a Surup of Brahma. They become Brahma themselves. That is the highest stage someone can reach if they worship Brahma. They become Brahma. Or Shivji, or Indra, Indra, the kings of the king of the Devi Devta, or the Teti Kro, the 330 million demigods, them. The reason why I'm explaining this is because that is the type of Mukti you find majority people getting to. Sarub Mukti, they become one without being. Now let's look at this in a Sikhi sense, if we were to look at it this way now. So what is Salok Mukti in Sikhi? One example we can give is this world, this life. Because this life is a life to earn Taram. How do we know that it comes in Japji Sahib? Rati Rutti Thitti Var Pavanapani Agni Patal Tisavicha Tarti Thap Rakhi Taram Sal That in this earth, the Guru set up this Taram Sal, this place of righteousness. That is the Guru's home, that is the Guru's lok, the land of righteous living, Salok Mukti. Then we have Samip Mukti, that from that land we get closer to the Guru, we go to the Guru's home. Then the Sayuj Mukti, we get very close to the Guru, we're standing right in front of them, we're taking upon their teachings, and what we're so close to becoming, Sarup Mukti. Becoming the Guru's form, meaning the Khalsa. That is like Sarup Mukti for us, if you look at this analogy, but there's one other type of mukti we talked about here, uh, parangata, paramagati, keval mukti. And only the Guru can offer this, only Satguru Ji can offer this. Brahma Ji, Vishnu Ji, Shiva Ji, all, these, all the beings that you, we talk about, they cannot offer this one thing. We still do satkar to them, we have respect for everyone. In case someone asks, why do you say Ji? You have satkar for everyone. But they cannot give keval mukti. What is that? That after they become one with the Guru, they become one with Vaiguru. When I mean one with the Guru, I mean the Khalsa Rup. To take upon the form, to become that form, the, the form of the Khalsa Sarup Mukti, but then to become one with Vaiguru, Keval Mukti. Only the Guru can offer this to us. When we go into the Guru's Darbar and we sit upon that, that, that company of Saad Sangat, Keval Mukti. Jo Jal Mehe Jal Aya Khatana, Teo Jyoti Sang Jyota Samana. Just like how water becomes one with water, the light becomes one with the light, that person becomes one with Vaiguruji, and this can only be gained through the Guru's blessings. And this is written in Gurubani. That nobody has found God without the Satguru, and no one ever will find the Guru. So, what is Guru Sabi saying here? That by going into the Guru's court, sitting upon those companions of truth, contentment, of not having jealousy for someone else, wishing the best for them, not having stubbornness, patience, 
What happens that person reaches the supreme state of Kaval Mukti Hanji? Nanak Raj Chalaya. They, hey, they say it was Nanak Raj Chalaya. Pave the Gurta Gaddi of Siddhi Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj. That Gurta Gaddi Rupi um, Raj Chalaya. That Raj Gurta Gaddi Rupi Raj of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. That was set up by Guru Sahib themselves. This kingdom of Siddhi Guru Nanda Ji. So Raj here means the rule, the kingdom. Chalaya means to, um, to have that Raj. To let that Raj take place, that rule take place. They say Guru Nanak Dev Ji set up this Raj themselves. Nanak Raj Chalaya. And that kingdom was then passed on to the second Guru. Siddhi Guru Angad Dev Ji. Order to Guru Gobind Singh Ji. We had this kingdom. And that kingdom became the Granth and the Pant. Guru Granth, Guru Pant. The eternal kingdom still today. Nanak Raj Chalaya. And that was set up by Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji. This Khasa Raj we talk about was started by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. They laid the foundations for us and they explained to us how do we get this Raj. We talk about Khalistan. Khalistan is Khalsa Raj. Raj Grega Khalsa is Khalistan. It's just along with the way people, especially propaganda, has changed the meaning of that. What is Khalistan? Khalistan means protection for everyone. Khalistan means education for everyone. Khalistan means that there's equality and it doesn't matter what jati you are. You could even be a Hindu and you'll be protected. No, if you're just a Sikh, you could be a Hindu, Muslim and live under that Khalsa Raj as well. Live under that Khalistan. Khalistan is just Raj Grega Khalsa. It's just things get given a negative connotation to it. Like today, if you say Baba, it, get, it gets given a bad connotation. If you say Masand, Masand is given a, such a bad, connota bad connotation to it. But in the Guru's time, there's a lot of good Masands. Masand was somebody who collected the Guru's wealth for them. But because a lot, there were a few bad eggs in the basket, everyone else got given a bad name for it as well. Right? So here they say Nanak Raj Chalai, that Guru Sahib Ji served as Raj. And how was that Raj set up, Hanji? To have a kingdom. The first thing we need is for it to be protected, right? You need a fortress around it. So they say here is such a quarter. What does that mean? It means that this kila, this fortress around it is made out of truth. And what is the truth here? It means such bodhana, such a naam, such a sad sangat. That person who goes into true company, who says that true one's name, who sits upon the ones who are true, who speaks the truth all the time, that person has built very strong walls around them. But what is each brick made of in that kila, in that fortress? Is made of pagti. So pagti rupa kand. That, that kand, that wall is made of pagti. That, when we do love and devotion, prema pagti means love and devotion for Vaiguruji, we're building each brick one by one and it becomes a very strong wall. Satani. Satani taan means powerful. Sat means sehat denal. Means denal. So bal denal. A lot of strength. That wall is very strong. That is made of truth. And they say Neva there. So what does Neva here mean? Neva means Nihi. Nihi means uh, foundations. Sharda Rupi Nihi. Now what is the foundations of this fortress? What is the foundations of this kingdom? What is the foundations of our spirituality? It's Sharda. It's faith. But not just any faith. Humble faith. Humble humility, humble faith is so important, Sarsingha Ji, because if anybody does any construction work, you'll know, or knows anything about building, that when you build something, the foundations need to be very deep. You don't build like, you don't dig 30 centimeters down, you'll dig meters down. Because the, the, the deeper you go, the stronger the foundations will be. And the same way, the deeper, the more humble somebody is, the lower they see themselves. Nietzsche under Nietzsche, Jata Nietzsche, Huta Nietzsche. To be the lowest of the low of the low of the low, that person is so powerful. That person is so great and their foundations are so strong. So if we look at this translation going backwards now, somebody who has very strong foundations because of their humble faith, what does that lead to? It leads to building one brick upon another brick of love and devotion. And that makes a very strong wall of truth, a fortress to protect us. And then what is inside that? The kingdom. That kingdom can only rule if the foundations were strong, which led to a very strong fortress, and that, that Raj can happen itself. So it's very important that we understand this, and this is not blind faith. Faith is very important to start with, 
but the experience comes in each of those bricks. Through that bhagati, through that love and devotion, we start to experience masus, to experience what you feel of Guruji inside our heart, inside our body. We start to experience them through the satsang, through the Guru Sikhs. We start to take upon truth in our life. We start to become content. We start wishing good for other people. We smile at somebody else's success, at their progress. These are all experiences in themselves. So this Raja Siddhi Guru Nandri set up a spiritual rule and a physical rule, Hanji. The Sasanga Ji, then Siddhi Guru Nandri Ji Maharaj Ji, put that, that chat. Chat he means chatar, which means the canopy, the umbrella over the head of Siddhi Guru Arjun Ji Maharaj Ji. Guru Maharaj Ji said, Utte. on the head of Guru Sahib Ji, Guru Nandri Ji Maharaj Ji ne, is a uh, chatar rakhya hai. They put this chatar, this canopy on top of their head. Now, when we look at this, this canopy on the top of the head of Guru uh, Angad Dev Ji Maharaj Ji, Lehene. Lehene means Pai Lena Ji, which was the name of Siddhi Guru Angad Dev Ji before they came uh, to Guru Nanad Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. So, Pai, Le, Pai Lena Ji, Lehene Taryona, Taryo means rakhya, to place. Uh, Lehene Taryona, Chat Sir. Chat means a canopy, Sir means on top of the head. How did this happen? If you look at the history of Siddhi Guru Nanad Dev Ji and Pai Lena Ji, when Pai Lena Ji first came to visit Guru Nanak Dev Ji, hearing the words of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji in Kadur Sahib, where they were from, they made their way to Siddhi Kartapur Sahib on a kori, on a female horse. When they came there, they couldn't find Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. A very old wise man came and he said, I will take you to Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. So this old wise man was walking and Pai Lena Ji was on their horse. The, the old man held that horse by its reins I said, I'll take you to Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji. They came to his beautiful home and that old man disappeared around the side. Pai Lena Ji tied their horse up, uh, that female horse to a pole and they walked inside and they fell the feet of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji who was sitting on the throne. And when they fell their feet and they looked up like how we look up at Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they saw that same old wise man, meaning that Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji came themselves to bring Pai Lena Ji to their home. Meaning like we said before, Pudan hair. God is absorbed in the creation and God has come themselves to bring us home. Santa ke karaj apakloya, that God themselves has come to take us home. Because we've tried for many years, we've tried for many janams and we failed, but now God out of their own humility, out of their own uh, day, out of their own mercy actually, out of their own mercy upon us, they've come themselves to save us. God has come themselves as Siddhi Guru Nandaji Maharaji. And when Pai Lenaji looks up, he starts to cry. And he says that, hey Maharaji, you were walking and I came with the horse. It shouldn't have been like this. It should have been the other way. You should have been the horse and I should have been walking. And Guru Sahib asked him, what is your name? And he said, Lehna. My name is Lehna. The Guru Nandaji says to Pai Lehna Ji, he said, Tusi Lehna hai, ate asi dena hai. He said, hey Lehna, asi, Tusi Lehna hai. That's the reason why you came with the horse. Because the ones who come with the horse, they come to take. And the ones who come to give, they always walk. I see Dena hey, we're gonna give you something. What are they gonna give to Pai Lena Ji? They're gonna give them everything. They're gonna make them into that now as well. Now Karta Kadar Kare. They're gonna make him into that same form as themselves. They're gonna make them Sarva Shakti Vah. They're gonna give them all the Shakti. That form of Guru Nanak Dev Ji that God made themselves into is gonna now be transformed into Guru Angad Dev Ji. Angad, what does Angad mean? Ang means limb. That they're gonna become a part of Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji. Hanji. The Sasanga Ji, when Pai Lena Ji stayed with Guru Nanak Ji, returned home. And when they returned home, they couldn't endure to be away from Siddhi Guru Nanak Ji. So they came back again the second time. And when they came back this time, with a big massive block of salt on their head, to offer as peta to the Guru, and they came walking this time to Siddhi Kartapur Sahib. When, Guru, when Pai Lena Ji reached Siddhi Kartapur Sahib, they were so tired and they sat in the home of Siddhi Guru Nanak Ji with Guru Nanak Ji's wife, Mata Salakhani Ji, serving them. And they said to Mata Salakhani Ji, the wife of Siddhi Guru Nanak Ji, where is Siddhi Guru Nanak Ji? And they say, Guru Sahib Ji is doing kheti, they're fielding, they're doing their farming in the fields. And Pai Lena Ji went running into the fields and they said to Guru Sahib Ji, bless you with some seva. They said, I want you to pick the weeds out of the crops. So Pai Lena Ji was a very rich, rich person. They'd always worked in a very prestige place. They didn't know nothing about Kheti, about farming. So Pai Lena Ji is ripping out the plants and the weeds. 
when it should be ripping out the weeds only. So Guru Sabji says to them, Guru Nandaji, you just say, leave this and pick that big haystack up, that car, that grass, that hay, put it in your head and go and feed the Pashu or feed the animals. Now when Pai Lenaji lifts this on top of their head, this massive stack of grass, it's filled with wet mud, gilli mitti, and it starts to soak all their body. Pai Lenaji's body is covered in this, in this mud and they're wearing such beautiful clothes of saffron, not, sorry, not saffron, of silk. They're wearing these clothes of silk, the best uh, quality clothes you could wear, and they're doing seva of the Guru. And when Mata Salakani sees Pai Lenaji, when Mata Salakani Ji sees Pai Lenaji covered in this mud and carrying this haystack in their head, they say to Siddhi Guru Nandaji, what have you done to them? Look at this haystack on their head. Look at this mitti on their body, this gilli mitti. How can you do this to Pai Lenaji? And Guru Nandaji says that you see a car on top of their head, you see grass, but what do I see? Lehene tar, yona chattar sir. You see grass, I see a chattar. I see a canopy on their head. Like how we have a chandoa sahib on top of Siddhi Guru Gan Sahib Ji, I don't see haystack, I see chattar. I see a canopy of what? The Guru Kar, Guru Kar Di Seva. Because Pai Lena Ji started to serve the Guru, Jina Sevya, Tina Pai Aman. That this service of the Guru's home is that canopy on top of their head and you see mitti on their sarir, on their body, on their clothes. I don't see mitti, I don't see dirt, I see splashes of kesar, saffron. I see saffron splashed upon Siddhi Lena Ji. That's what I see. Got a sifti amrita peeva there. Tan Siddhi Guru Angad Deji Maharaji, Tan Pai Lena Ji used to serve Guru Nanak Deji, they used to praise Guru Nanak Deji when they used to do the seva, got a sifti amrit, amrit the peeve there, and every time they praised Siddhi Guru Nanak Deji Maharaji, it was like they are drinking amrit. If anyone has been blessed with amrit di dat, we know that day when you are blessed with the amrit, it's such a beautiful day, the amrit is so sweet, and it is so powerful. When it runs through our case, when it runs through our eyes, when we drink the amrit, and they say just bowl, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh, and then we say Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh, or when we go to a Sikhi camp and we feel so much anand that when Pai Lena Ji used to pray Siddhi Guru Nanak Dev Ji every single day was like an Amrit Sanchar, every single day was like a Sikhi camp they were in the Amrit Ras all the time they were experiencing Guru Nanak Ji all the time inside they were bathing in the Amrit Sarovar inside them Tarta Sohavi, Tal Sohava Vich Amrit Shaya Ram Vich Amrit Jal Shaya Ram, Hanji he said, Tarta Sahavi, blessed is that Tarti of Siri Harmandir Sahaba. Blessed is this Tarti, this body. Tal Sahava, blessed is that pool inside. Which Amrita inside is a Amrita Jal, Chaya Ram, and I'm completely imbued in that Amrit. Tan Pai Lena Ji, Ratta Mera Chola. Tera Eko Nam Manjitra. That your name, Vai Guruji, Manjitra is a type of dye that once you die in that color, you cannot lose that color again. Tera eko naam jithara, ratta mera chola, sad ragatola, the ratta means to be completely imbued in that love of Guru Nanak Ji. My whole chola, not this physical chola, but Pai Lena Ji's physical chola is covered in that love of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, but this sukshim sarir, the body inside this body is completely covered in Guru Nanak Dev Ji's love, ratta mera chola, sad ragatola, and that love can never be broken. It will stay forever. This is what Pai Lena Ji was drinking in, and that same Amrit, was given to all the Guru Sikhs and even today we can drink in the Amrit as well, Hanji. Mat Guru Atam Dev Di Te Saasinga Ji, Siri Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj Ji blessed Pai Lena Ji with a tal. They blessed him with a shield. What is that shield? Mat, the Guru's Mat, the Guru's understanding. Mat Guru Atam Dev Di Guru means Guru Mat, hey, the Guru's understanding. Atam Dev, Apana Aap. Dev means Prakash Sarup, Pave Vai Guruji, the Prapati. How to gain Vai Guruji? The Guru has given us the math, the way to understand the teachings of Guru Sahib Ji. This is our shield. This is to protect us. The Guru's math is to protect us in this life, is giving us the understanding of how we should live our lives. And that is very important because if we don't have the Guru's math, we're going to make a lot of mistakes. But when the Guru tells us, look, Gosa Manana manna Hadai, Farida Borida Palakar. Pagat Fariji says, says to sing Guru Granth Sahib the Guru's mat, don't get angry in any situation. Because what does anger do? It only destroys your own gun. It only takes away from yourself. 
सो इस प्रोटेक्टिंग अस इस द गुरु शिव टू प्रोटेक्ट अस हां जी खड़ग जोर परा कोई दी द देन दे गिव अस ए सोर्ड एज़ वेल दे गिव अस अ टॉल बट दे गिव अस अ खंडा एज़ वेल व्हाट इज अ खंडा खड़ग जोर जोर मींस ज्ञान ज्ञान रूपी खंडा द गुरु हैज गिवन अस दिस सोर्ड ऑफ ज्ञान खड़ग जोर परा कोई परा कोई मींस अ बल वाला इज वेरी पावरफुल सोर्ड जी द which even shrine in pai lena ji's heart and then shrine in our heart as well sa singa ji they give us a sword of gyan of knowledge because for so long there's only so long we can take beatings and protect ourselves before we start to even maybe get doubts in our mind or we start to struggle but then the guru gives us the the sword of gyan and what is guru bani say to us is a guru gyan prachand balaya a gyan andera jai is a the guru's gyan The Guru's Gyan is like a beautiful light, Prakash Sarup. Guru Gyan Par Chand Balaya is like a big light. And what does it do? A Gyan that ignorance and there are darkness, joy is taken away, just by taking upon the Guru's Gyan. Mean that in our life, what is the biggest type of uh, thing that we face is bottom doubt. It leads to darkness, a Gyan of the ignorance. But the Guru through the Gyan, that sword, it cuts through all of that. So we have the Guru's mouth, the understanding which is the shield. Guru ki mouth tu lehe ayane pagat bana bahu do be saane. They say, "Oh, foolish person, take upon the Guru's teachings. The ones who don't take upon the Guru's teachings, they've all drowned." Bahu do be saane. The ones who think they're very clever, we cannot meet God in this mind. Cleverness will not work here. A mana chanchala chaturai kena na paya. Through cleverness has never worked. It's through love. It's through innocent love. and that will protect us that will be a protection all four corners there is ever time we need to attack back we need to attack these punch jord then the guru has given us the gyan rupi kharak they given us a sword of gyan which we can cut through all these punch jord in the battlefield of our mind han ji gur chale reh ras ki han ji nanak salamat thi vada te sa singh ji he if you take the earth from the end of the pankti nanak salamat thi vada salamat thi vada means बराजमन हों पावे वेन श्री गुरु नानक जी सिरिंग ऑन तख्त साहब बराज मीन्स बी सिटिंग हों मीन्स एट दैट मोमेंट वेन गुरु नानक जी सिरिंग ऑन द फोन वट इज गुरु नानक जी महाराज जी डू गुर चेले रहरास की गुर चेले द गुरु एंड द चेला रहरास मीन्स द मर्यादा द द रीति द ट्रडिशन की कीती द वे द ट्रडिशन वट इज गुरु साहब जी डू तोड़ना की द ब्रोक द ट्रडिशन बिकॉज When will you ever find somebody who has all the power, who is healthy, who can go for longer with so much fame? Just give a thing to their servant, and then put that servant on their phone and bow to that servant and say, "Now a thing is yours." This is not the way of the world. But Tan Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji did this. They said to Pai Lena Ji that now you sit on this phone, and Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj Ji, up Tan Sri Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj Ji, which Maharaj Ji charge matha take ke. They bow in the Guru's chair and they put their head on the floor on the feet of Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj Ji and they walk around Guru Angad Dev Ji and they put five coins down in front of them and a coconut, which is seen as the 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 part of the ceremony tradition. Where has this been seen? Guru Sahib Ji from the start, Guru Nanak Dev Ji broke all the the traditions of the world, meaning that even us, the path of the Khalsa is a very is a path of uniqueness. It's still living in the world. We're still a part of the world, but the world we walk in this way, but the Guru Sik walks the other. The Guru Das Sik walks in the direction of the truth, not in the tr- not in the the path of the majority, the path of the truth. Majority does not mean the truth. It doesn't mean it's not the truth, but that's something that we think that the majority says it. Then it must be right, but no, it's not about what the majority say. It's about what they say. The one says. That's what the Guru Sik follows. What the Guru Sahib Ji say to them. सो गुर चेले रह रास की नानक सलामत थी वद हां जी सह टिक्का दितो स जीव द ते तन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी सही स्वास है सह पावे सच्चे पाशा तन श्री गुरु नानक देव जी महाराज जी सह टिक्का दितो स टिक्का मींस तिलक दितो स मींस दित्ता जीव द मींस वास अलाइव द वास अलाइव जीव द वास अलाइव सच्चे पाशा जी तन श्री गुरु नानक जी द किंग ऑफ किंग्स द ट्रू किंग तिलक द um nishani that sign of royalty which is put a, a sign on their forehead 
which you may have seen before, uh, that is still done today in Jannah, but it was, a, in the, it was a, shine, a sign of the passing on of the Guruship. Ditta. They gave this. Dittos means to give. Now, Siddhi Guru Nadaji Maharaj, whilst alive, gave this Guru Gaddi to Siddhi Guru Angadeji Maharaji. And again, that Mariyadda was carried out by Baba Buddha Ji, who was a Sikh of Guru Nadaji, all the way up to Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, who did this uh, tradition, this ceremony, where they would take that tilak uh, and they would put it on the matha of the Guru. So people say that, is this in Sikhi? All our Gurus had this Nishani and it's written in Guru Bani as well. Tikka, this tilak was put on the matha of Siddhi Guru Angadeji Maharaj to pass the Guru Gandhi on to them. So Sa Singh Ji will do Samapti here of this Katha. We've gone for the first body of Ram Kiki Var, having given a recap of uh, the Itahas or Thanaka to this Bani. And now how Pai Balavanda Ji and Pai Satta Ji are praising Guru Sahib Ji. And you can see how these praises relate to the Itahas as well. How everything that I said we can look at history and we'll be doing that for other Katha, linking the Pankhya towards history because these two brothers are giving their own interpretation of Itahas and praising Guru Sahib at that time. And how blessed are they that their Bani was added to Siddhi Guru Gan Sahib meaning that they became one with Guru Sahib as well. That we bow in the feet of Pai Satta Ji, Pai Balavanda Ji every single day. We bow in the feet of Siddhi Guru Gan Sahib Ji Maharaj Ji. So Isi Tara Sahib Singh Ji, many mistakes we made in the Katha Vichar in the part. So please forgive us for all the mistakes. You are the Sahib Singh Ji, you can forgive us. Please give us your blessings that we continue to do this Seva. And go for all the eight Bodhya. And do our best not to make so many mistakes. Uh, and to take Laha from this Katha. And that we can add this into our Nitin. For now, let's start to listen to this Bani every single day. You can just find it on YouTube. Let's listen to the Bani and let's go for the art together. So again, please give us your blessings. Deho Sajjan Asi Sariya Johove Sahib Swamil Do Pankhtiya Parke Vudu Samapti Hanji Gur Til Rah Ras Ki Nanak Salamat Thi Vada Sah Tikka Dittos Ji Vada Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa Vahe Guru Ji Ke Fateh Vahe Guru Vahe if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh.